Hey, welcome to House Pro for Designers. What we're going to be doing in this short webinar session is just walking you through the House Pro capabilities you have in your account, as well as setting up those initial features like account settings. So the first thing I do recommend doing as soon as you do come into your account is actually bookmarking this tab. So what you can do is hop into your address bar at the top where it says pro.house.com.au, click on that star icon, and it should change to blue, which means you've bookmarked it. So that way it'll access in your bookmark bar and you don't need to search it up each time. So first thing I do recommend doing is heading into your account settings. So what we need to do is hover over your house and hop down to house pro settings. This is going to give you a couple different options just depending on what you're after. I'll do you a quick walkthrough of all of the options that we have here. So the first option we do have is account. So this account tile is really handy in actually that initial setup because what we're going to be entering in here is actually going to auto populate on all of our documents. So quotes, invoices, all the way through to the emails you send through to your clients. So what you can do is upload your logo, company info, and once you've entered that in, you can just click in save in the top right hand corner and those will be locked in. We've also got a settings tab. So what we've got here is default project memos and emails. What these fields are is basically, again, auto-populating onto your documents. So for example, for memos, whatever we pop in each memo is auto-populating at the bottom of each of those documents. With our emails, this is the email body um, that's going to be sent through, again, to each document that you've entered that box in for. That's the account tile we have. Then we've got profile, so if you did want to quickly hop back into the house profile and edit any content in there, you can always do that. Then we've got billing, so if you did want to change the card on file for your subscription, you can always head into there and edit that or update. We have subscriptions, so you can one, look at your current subscription, two, have a look at previous month's um, invoices for your subscription payments, and three, if you are currently on a free trial, you can always cancel it from within your account during that free trial period. Then we've got financial. So what you can do in here is actually choose whether your um, default products and services costs will be inclusive or exclusive of GST and what that GST rate is. And you can also come in and set a default, that way you don't have to say inclusive or exclusive every time. After that, we've got a Teams tab. So depending on your subscription type, you are allocated a certain amount of team members, which will be set in the top right. And from there, you can come in and just add each team member so that way they have access to your account and can start working on the projects alongside you. As admin though, you can come in and set up your team members' permissions. For example, if you don't want them to interact with leads, you can simply untick that box. The next option we have is calendar. So what you can come and do is sync your calendar, whether that's Google, Apple, Outlook, and that way you can actually start booking in meetings with your clients. If you want as well is offer video um, consultations, whether that's free or paid. So you can always set those up as well. That is a super quick rundown of those account settings. Again, I recommend doing that first, but what we've also got is our toolbar on our left-hand side. So first we've got Grow, which is going to give you one, insights on your house profile, but also give you a really good breakdown to see what's doing well. Um, and again, just general insights on that profile. We've then got a website. So if you've chosen to create a website through us, you can come in, view the website that has been created for you or make any kind of edits as well. And it will also tell you the last time you've actually updated that website. From there, we've got our manage portion, which is where you'll most likely be working um, in through the project of your life cycles. So we've got leads, which allows you to communicate with any potential clients, whether that's through house or externally to house. So you can come in and always record external leads like social media or word of mouth and have all of your communication with potential clients in one spot for you and your team to have a look at. We've then got projects overview, which allows you just to do that and have a look at all of your projects um, in one spot. And then I have an extra breakdown by having a look at all of your projects. And then from within there, coming in, 
breaking it down and have a looking at all of the proposals, invoices, purchase orders, and so on based from that project. So for example, if I come in, I can have an overview, message tab, and have a look at just, again, the life cycle of all of the tabs we have access to. I would recommend um, waiting until our uh, onboarding webinar so you can take through a really great re uh, detailed breakdown of all of these tabs that you do have. From there, we've got contacts. So what you can come and do is start uploading your client list, your supplier list, and that way when you do go to create your projects or allocate products, we've already got clients and suppliers linked. What you can do with your clients and suppliers is actually import a template um, and then start, uh, sorry, export a template and then add in all of your either supplier or client details and then import it. That way you don't have to add them in one by one. Then we've got a products and services tab. So what we can do in here is just that, store all of our product libraries and have all of our options in the one spot for us if needed to click on each product and start editing the details with them. We've got two options here. One, manually adding in a product by clicking on add new products in the top right. Otherwise we can actually come in and add them in through the product clipper, which I'll walk you through in a minute. Then we've got our services, which is allowing you to come in and add all of your services that you can potentially add to your uh, you know, invoices or proposals, purchase orders, whatever it is. And again, to add them in manually, we just go add new service in the top right hand corner and then log those details about that particular service. Then we've got time and expenses. So what you can come in here and do is actually start logging your time and your expenses. So you can either just see where your time is going or if you want, actually build that to your client. So you can come in here, manually, manually record it by clicking add new entry logging details about that time entry and it'll save in your line items. Otherwise, you can use our stopwatch feature which allows you to start tracking your time as you go. So you can start multiple stopwatches at once. So you could be multitasking and you want to keep track of where your time's going. We can always come in here and start um, allocating new time entries. Otherwise, we've got reports, which allows you to export any data you've done with in-house pro externally into a Excel document. And within our reports tab, you can have access to what kind of report you'd like to generate. Then we've got 3D floor plans, which allows you to create a 3D floor plan, have a look at it in a, a dollhouse or a walkthrough view, which allows it to be really interactive that you can send to your clients as well. And then we've got mood boards. So you can come in here, create any kind of mood board that you'd like. You can send it to your client, you can link it to a document, you can export it as a PDF. Um, so that's something you can have a bit of a play with as well. We've also got this Learn, which allows you to have really helpful webinars and articles all based off um, whatever you've searched up. So this is really handy thing to just kind of go through and have a look at what you've got access to. And then the last thing I do recommend utilizing is this need help in the bottom right hand corner. So that's going to give you access again to a help center. This is a little bit more specific. So I can come in here and say um, how to download products clipper. Enter. And that's going to give me um, a redirect to our house pro help center, which gives again articles, webinars, whatever how to's based on whatever you've searched up. Otherwise, what we've got back in our um, House Pro tab is our contacts. So I can come in here and actually submit a support request or give feedback, and that'll come to our support reps and allow us to get to you uh, within the same day. So that's how you can get in touch. One other thing we do have in House Pro is the product clipper. So if I hop back into our help center, I can come in here and have a look at how to download the clipper. That'll give me uh, access to the link that I need to install it on Google Chrome. So I just click here. Once you have got it installed, you'll be able to start clipping away. We just click add to Chrome. It'll then appear as a blue leaf in the very top right hand corner. And I can come in and start clipping products online. So for example, if I go to Globe West, find a product that I want, click on that product. I then want to add it to my product library. 
So all I need to do is hover over an image, the blue leaf will come up for me to click on it, and that brings up the clipper on my right hand side. So firstly, I'll need to sign into the clipper. So I'm just going to type in my email address linked to my House Pro account. Click sign into House Pro. That's going to open up a new tab, give me access to my House profile, and click go to House Pro. I can then navigate back into the product clipper and I'll be signed in and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is go through, get a couple of angles and close-ups for my client to have a look at this product. And when I've got all the images I want, I can scroll up and start getting my text. So rather than coming in each box and actually typing it in, I'm actually going to click and highlight the text I want, and then from that drop down, select which field it is. And you'll notice that'll autofill. So with our cost box, what we want to pop in the cost is the price you're purchasing it for as the designer. So I'm just going to pop in maybe trade is 300. I can then come in here and say, um, maybe click on the calculate markup button and say I want my client to be charged for retail which is 450 then set I can then say the 450 does include GST and it is taxable my GST rate is 10% then it's just a matter of going through and filling out all the rest of that information so client description I'm just gonna pop a random sentence from the suppliers website I've got my category which is within my product library, I've got kind of um, like subsection so I can easily search through my library. So I'm gonna pop this under lighting. My vendor, which is my supplier, which I already imported in my contacts tab within House Pro. So I'm just gonna come in and select the supplier. Then I can actually link this to a project I've got running. So at this point, if you're just sourcing in general, not for a specific client, we can always skip this step or we can allocate it. And then we've got additional details at the bottom, which allows us to be a little bit more detailed, really great for purchase orders or clients who need that extra information. So you can pop in any of these fields here. We've got recommended retail price. I always recommend popping this in because a few months down the track, we may not remember what that recommended retail is. So having an order field does come in handy. Then we've got internal notes. This is really great for maybe it comes um, made to order, 12 weekly time, or maybe they're tiles and they're really fragile. You can put any kind of um, special notes in those internal notes. And then underneath that we've got tags, which is kind of like the hashtag of Instagram. So tags are the tags for Ivy. So what you can come and do is come in and say, uh, maybe this is a pendant, uh, lighting, just allowing you to quickly search through your library through a tag rather than typing in the actual product title's name. And then once I've done, I click save to Ivy and it'll tell me, yippee, it's been saved at the top. So now I can go back into House Pro, access my products and services, and I should be able to see that light sitting at the top of my list. So if needed, I can come in here, click on each product, have a look at all the details with it, as well as if needed, make any kind of edits. If there's a lock icon, that just means the client won't be able to see that information. So if you want them to possibly have a link to the product, you can always pop that in the client description as well. So that's a quick intro and a really great place to kind of get started in your House Pro account. Um, have a bit of a go with it. Like I said, it'd be really great if you could tune into our webinar um, and that way we'll be able to go through everything in a lot more detail. If you have any questions in the meantime, definitely feel free to click on that need help and click on contact us and then that way you'll be able to get in touch and we can connect before then. Perfect. Well, thanks for tuning in and hopefully speak with you soon. Bye.